that there's slightly more to this experiment than meets the eye. It's not just an experiment in social engineering to try to engineer consent among the likes of us. Looking at the protocol, and looking at the protocols of similar experiments, it also seems to me that this is an attempt at deliberate contamination. The scientists know full well that you cannot keep these genes in that field. Bees have been shown to carry rape pollen for up to four kilometers. There are loads of rape fields within that distance round here. The liberty resistant gene within this rape can transfer itself both to other rape plants and to a wild relative of rape called field mustard. Contamination in this experiment is not a possibility. It's not a probability. It is an inevitability. And it's my contention that what these companies are trying to do is to say, oh dear, look, there's contamination all over the country now. Oh no, it's got into rape, it's got into field mustard, it's got into maize, it's got into barley, it's got into just about everything. Too late, horses bolted, what's the point of keeping the stable door shut any longer? That's what's going on here. This is an attempt to engineer a political situation, a social situation, which has absolutely bog all to do with science. We're the only ones left who can possibly do anything about this. Nice image. Hey, 
Yeah. 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 Well, he's living up to his namesake. It's not very far, is it? Um, this is really to just keep keep this in the public eye because this is bad science by big business and it's trying to put democracy back where it belongs in the hands of the people. This is potentially devastating for the whole of the human race. If this stuff cir circumnavigates the globe then I'm afraid it's curtains for the human race and I'm not over exaggerating. We think the fact So this is the third year of uh, the National Seed Listing Trials and it's the third year that people have pulled them up as well. Um, it's impossible to segregate it. This stuff cross-pollinates, it open-pollinates over, you know, five if not ten kilometres with ease. Once this stuff is out on a large commercial scale, it can't be contained. Great. No damage to the crops. Right. Okay. So the crop was reported okay. beforehand. Hang on. So so we'll we'll the, Thank you. the crop is reported beforehand. The okay. source of criminal damage. You can wait. Just some of the They've got the technology on their side. They've got the great powers on their side. They've got the nations, the nation states on their side. They've got the UN bodies. They've got the World Trade Organization. They've got big money on their side. But we've got something far more powerful than that. And that's our own will. That's our own determination. That whatever they do, whatever they throw at us, they're never going to succeed. The key to all of this is trouble. Their power is an artifact of our acquiescence. It's only because we've been too much asleep, because we haven't done enough to stop them, that they've been able to get as far as they have. It's only because the whistle wasn't blown early enough. It's because the whistle hasn't blown, been blown often enough that they've got as far as they've got. But now we can set them back. We can set them back by causing trouble, and trouble is the only guarantor of our liberties. There is no perfect political state out there. There is no utopia, no safe shore. A democratic government is only as good as the capacity of its citizens to challenge it. Because I think uh, everyone, everyone gets a bit too excited about the successes that we've had. And, and, and while I'm really willing to acknowledge those successes... Um, I also um, do a lecture for society.
Just out, you don't. Yeah. It's just GM. Yeah, we think this is GM, it's way too early in there. Okay, great. Right. Here we go, oh my goodness, we're going to do that this somewhere. <laughs> what exactly are you doing? Um, I'm doing this for people who, um, who are going to be inheriting this, people in the future who haven't even been born yet, who are going to have to live with uh, this self-replicating living pollution. And I want to stop it for them, so I'm doing this for the future, for children in the future, so that they don't have to live with this. This is a test site. Currently we need test sites to find out if GM is actually safe or not. This, to, to have a test site open to the, exposed to the environment where it's causing pollution is, um, is really bad science. It's, there's nothing scientific about this. This is exposing ordinary people in this locality and the environment in general and threatening public health in, in a way that just is not scientific. If these, I'm not against genetic engineering. If these tests were done um, in enclosed systems, I wouldn't be doing this. But to actually have them exposed to the environment is really dangerous and it shouldn't be allowed. So I believe this is illegal. Really just got to keep your back straight whilst you're doing it. 